You're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. Hello and welcome to the Other Side Podcast, brought to you by Gamers of Diversity. It's your boy Quicks the Q and the guy in the chair, Kyle P. Say what up? <laughs> Yo, you was about to mess it up again. Right. I was about to mess it up. You saw, you saw <laughs> me, right? <laughs> Podcast. I can't get it out. I can't speak. <laughs> He's probably uh, that man. <laughs> Damn. So, got some great news for some people. I don't know for. I would say DC fans, the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League will be coming out on HBO Max 2021. I think I have a May 20th release date for it um you know hbo max we just talked about uh last week about them acquiring uh crunchy roll man right. they're bringing a lot of guns to the gunfight as they say they, they're uh i guess they don't want to be n- number well i don't think it's i think it's a fight for number two and not number one i think netflix is always gonna be number one streaming i think it's a fight for number two i think they're trying to be number two uh, um, you, you know, you're trying to say like, well, Disney's got a good foothold in that. Good foothold. Disney does, but HBO, you know, they're going to have DC properties. Um, you know, they, they they got some they got some stuff. You know, I think the Snyder Cut is, is a great thing. It's something somebody's been asking for. Um, my review of the Justice League movie got uh, aggressively worse. As time went by, like after mm-hmm. I saw it, I was like, "Ah oh, man, it wasn't that bad." Because I, I I saw the reviews going in, I was like, oh, "I give it like an eight eight point five. It was oh, bad." My. Oh. But then as time went on, bro, oh, it did not age well at all. It's almost <laughs> it's almost horrible. <laughs> it's almost it's almost unwatchable, unwatchable for me right now. Huh. Um, as you know, Batman is my favorite character, and the way they kind of portrayed him in the movie was kind of just weird and goofy, right? And bad, and everything bad, everything. See, I, I like Batman versus Superman. Everything good about that movie had uh, was about Batman. And Justice League it was the opposite. Everything bad about it had Batman. In it. <laughs> and, um, it was just weird, like. I mean, he was useless. He was shooting guns again. It's just a weird view for you to see Batman shoot a gun because it's like the number one thing that he doesn't do. So for you to do it, it's kind of weird. Right, that's true. He doesn't shoot guns. like, And for him to him shoot a gun, mm-hmm. and then I, I remember watching it. It bugged me when I first saw it. He shot a gun to it, ran out of ammo, and he looked at the gun like... Uh, he's an idiot now. I just right. It, it was all over the place. He <laughs> just kind of like a dummy. I was just like, Batman doesn't look like a dummy. He's the smartest person on the Justice League, and they made him out to be like a buffoon. And it right. was really weird to watch. I mean, what was your overall like rating for Justice League? Oh, it was doing too much. That's a six. <laughs> Mm. Absolutely, and that's being nice oh, it, because it's that, a four for me. It, it dropped all from I say, a .5 to a four. I say because they was just trying to do too much. They way, you know, you could have split up that movie into like three segments. You know what I mean? That was Snyder's uh, original plan. We but, split it up into two. You keep so, you try to squeeze everything into one thing, like it's just not gonna work. Like it's just they tried to push it out too quick, man. It was like you know, like Avengers. Like let's just say you take Avengers. Like it took a good minute for that to really come together, right? You know what I mean? Like you know, you had Iron Man, I think Iron it was Man four two. Years. You know what I mean? They it's, they took their time with it. You know, they it took a good minute. They just didn't pop out up Justice League and then squeeze everything into one movie. I was just like, man, you guys, horrible. <laughs> yeah, I think that, you know, I think they could have reverse engineered it, but they could have d- did it better. There's ways that you can introduce a lot of characters and do it good, but they didn't do it good. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, it didn't. It's it's a four for me. It's um, I just so the original plan was for them. To, it was supposed to be Justice League Part One and Justice League Part Two, but then um, well, let's put this in the context. Uh, um, Zack Snyder, his daughter, committed suicide oh. in the middle of uh, filming Justice League. Um, so he stepped away for a while and they hired Josh Wheaton. Josh Wheaton is the director of the Avengers. And when you watch the movie, you can see clearly that it was two different people filming the, the movie. You can uh-huh. just tell. He tried, you know, uh, Josh Wheaton, he tried to put his little comedy in there and it just didn't work. You, you, I want you to find me a film that looks, that's good with two different directors. I mean, if you could think of one, I'll be surprised. Um, and, and no one, I you know, no one blames Zack Snyder for stepping away. I mean, anybody daughter commits suicide. I mean, right. what do you expect from them? You know, I, I expected him to step away, but you know, I think they kind of, they should have followed his plan out because they had a, a darker vision and you know, the um, Warner Brothers is very, re- re- um, we call it reactionary. You know, instead of just sticking to their plan and not listening to the fans, they should have just kept it dark. I mean, let Marvel be their own thing with the comedy. I, I prefer DC darker and with less comedy. I, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, they, they had their own lane that they could have, like, man, I'd rather, I'd rather see a rated R Justice League movie. You know, I mean, Dead, Deadpool proves that you can have a rated R comic book movie that made over eight hundred million dollars at the um, ticket booths. Um, <laughs> the box office, the ticket box. Booth. What did I say? Ticket booths. Yeah. I can't think of the word. <laughs> I like we had a carnival. Yeah. Like, 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 what's the word for it? Cotton candy. <laughs> Cotton candy. Come on and see what we got playing tonight. <laughs> down here at the ticket booth. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, they're going to spend an extra $20 million to finish uh, the Snyder Cut. Mm-hmm. Which is... that's. I mean, that's, that's droplets in the, in the ocean. $20 million? Come on. You guys, spend $40 million, million on it. Make it Make it the best thing you can, you know. Don't cheap out on it. Well, but they said they, they filmed everything they had to film, huh? Well, did everybody's in there that was in there. Yeah. So the slider, they, they filmed they? everything that. What you say? They said they're all going to be in there, like the same actors or no? So the Snyder cut is a, just a different cut of the Justice League. So they filmed everything that Snyder had did. They just never finished the visual effects on it. Okay. So they have every they have everything they need. It just it costs millions of dollars to finish some of the scenes they have, and it was some major scenes missing from the movie. If you kind of notice the previews, mm. I mean, uh, Iris West is in the movie. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't know. The stuff. Flash's wife is in the movie. Okay. Um, there's a lot of um, I can't think of his name. Uh, the android guy, um, cyborg. Cyborg. Yeah, there's plenty of scenes that they didn't put in the movie with him. There's a uh, there's Batman and Alfred scene. There's a Superman and where Superman goes into the Bat Cave. Um, um. that was actually in the commercial. There's Superman with a black suit on, Superman with the beard. It's a lot of stuff that they filmed that uh, and it's it's three and a half, almost four hours of a movie. Mm-hmm. And the the movie that we got was exactly two hours. Okay. So there's a lot that they can explore. Um I wanna go more into the, the nightmare scenes. I thought that was the best part of the movie. Mm. When Batman was in that when he was in the trench coat fighting the parademons. And right. Dark Side Dark Side is in the movie too. Oh wow. We didn't get to see yeah, we didn't even get to see Dark Side. 
So there's plenty of footage left on the cutting room floor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this has been rumored since the movie came out. Yeah, uh, Try to redeem himself a little bit, huh? Actively. Yeah. I mean, I think I think this is the direction they should have went because you can't be Marvel. Your Marvel got its own thing. Don't be like Marvel. Be like DC. You know, be dark. Right. Be rated R. Do something different. Don't be the same thing as Marvel because Marvel had it already had six years of built up. I mean, it took eight years to build up to Infinity War. Right. You know, you can't just... And it was just little tidbits in each movie. A little, little one here, a little one there. I think... I mean, personally, if I was making the movie, I think what they should have done is, sp you know, spend an hour building the team up. Don't try to rush it. You know, spend mm -hmm. an hour on that. Then spend an hour on them doing something. And then spend an hour on the final fight. But in that two hours that we got, it was just like, boom, Aquaman, he, he caught Bruce Wayne, Batman in front of a bunch of people. Like, nobody recognized that. It's just a bunch of mistakes in that movie. Damn. He called him Batman in front of everybody. Like, no you one noticed watched, that. You must have watched the, uh, the bloops and blunder cut. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that's in the real movie. That's in no, the I movie. mean, you know how people like, they'll make a YouTube video and just uh, point out all the no, just, I, I I saw that. I remember watching that. I was like, did he just call him Batman in front of that whole village? I'm like, wow. And you could tell when you watch the movie how like Ben Affleck he he's fat sometimes, and then he got some facial hair. It was all <laughs> shot out of weird context. <laughs> like, I'm sure a lot of people don't recognize it, but somebody like me recognizes it. Is just like oh, I can't watch this anymore. Right. So, what are your uh, takes? On well, that? I mean, like, I'm well, I'm looking forward to um, checking it out. I mean, that's that's just going to draw people to HBO Max, of course. I mean, mm -hmm. so yeah, they you know they know how to funnel it in, and you know HBO's got that dollar, so of course they can uh, help to uh, get that all done. So it says the Snyder Cut could be released as either a four-hour movie. Or a six I'd love to watch that. Or a six part TV series, according to the uh to Hollywood Reporter. I like the second I like the second option. Let's go let's go deep. Man. Spend fifty million fifty million on it. Like Right. This is also the second time so far where the internet has done some justice. First one was with Sonic when everybody was uh -huh. doing like the, the the redesign. Now the fans are being listened to with the Snyder cut being released. Well, that's what's up. Yeah, I mean, I think fans should have some say, but not all say. But you should listen to your fans and your fan base because this movie, these movies are made for nerds. Right. I mean, it's not made for anyone else. The The key is, though, to make these movies appealing to everyone. You know, oh, you got to you gotta satisfy the nerds, but you also got to... Get the dad interested. You gotta get the mom interested. You gotta get the the son and the daughter interested. But these movies are made for nerds. They're not made for anyone else. <laughs> you know, because if you know who rates the movies first, nerds. Mm. And if you get that first wave of bad publicity, your movie is not going to turn out good. It's proven. I there has not been one comic book movie that has bad reviews and succeeded at the box office, not right. one, not one. So you gotta satisfy that niche group, or you're not gonna have any success. And um, I heard Birds of Prey was good, but I think the <laughs> that's a separate issue. I think the the movie title kind of messed them up because yeah. they ended up changing the movie. The, they ended up changing it. Right. The, the, it was the, the, I don't remember. It was too long, but the emancipation of the wonderful world of something. They uh -huh. should have just called it Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. Right. Now, do you think this will attract more subscribers for this? I think people are going to renew this yeah, yeah, subscription of course. now. Of course. Definitely. Because if I didn't have an HBO one, I bet mm -hmm. you I had one before that movie came out, though. 
Yeah. I and that's just me. Yeah. <laughs> that's just me. Yeah, they can definitely snag some people like that. For sure. Man, I can't believe this came true, bro. I, I really can't believe that. This has been a, a rumor for, what, two years, three years? Mm -hmm. like, uh, and then people will die on the sword. People like John Campia, um, people at Collider will say, no, this is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. It's too much. It's too right. much money to remake this movie. It's too much. They, that's all they kept saying. And I always thought, like, nah, I think 20 to $40 million is not a lot of money in the movie theater. Not uh, in the movie in the dropping the bucket. Right, it's a drop in the bucket for them. So why wouldn't you do this? And the you know the fan outcry for it. I mean, why not do it? Right. But I think they did it in the in the best way possible. Like a lot of things came together at the right time for them to do it like this. Because um, you figure people are gonna be on quarantine probably till next year. You know, let's get another subscription service, HBO Max. Let's go. Yeah, they can um, think, definitely. Um, yeah. If there was like a be a top three, I think they they I think they just at least want to be of the top three. If there's going to be such a thing, you know what I mean? Right. And um, and they 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 have a a good chance now of righting their wrongs. Kudos to them. You know, they 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 get to right their wrongs from making that horrible Justice League movie that I stood. On a soapbox and was like, "No, man, it's a good movie, man." It sure was. You I was like, yeah, man, I... yeah, come on, man. I don't say this thing is trash. Right, you <laughs> was telling me, like, Rich, just... I don't know what you see. Right, like, they no, just blind man, me. <laughs> you, you gotta understand, Zack Snyder's daughter died, and you gotta, I'm creating all types of excuses for this movie. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, I was so sad that. When I was watching it, I was like, man, this is the bad movie. Hell yeah. I don't know what day it was, but I tried to watch it again, and I couldn't watch it. So I was like, man, I think I'm wrong on this one. Mm. So the score is one The score is one, one for us. You was wrong about Google Stadia. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> you right. was dead wrong about Google Stadia, and I admit it. I was dead wrong about Justice League. I just wanted to like it so much that I was like, nah, man, it's bad. Yeah, that's, that's how they blind you. Shut you up, know, man. They, they blind you up. with that. <laughs> like, it's like, shut up, man. It's good. Just like it. Like it for what it is. Yeah, shit. Oh. I went back to watch that movie. I was like, this is horrible. Right. I don't even get what's going on half the time. This guy's blowing up a building? But why? They're not explaining anything. Oh. Why does why does Bruce Wayne have a a beard in one scene and the next the next scene he doesn't? Why does he look like the Michelin Man? He's all puffed up. Uh huh. I'm, I'm just like what? I I, I, I can't <laughs> watch this movie anymore. Oh, it was so you. disturbing. You know, came, you know, came out of your um yeah. They call it like a genjitsu in the anime. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Naruto. But I, 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 I do <laughs> still like Superman Batman versus Superman. I, 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 I contend that I, I like Batman versus Superman. I, I thought I they like rushed Batman. that too. They, they had Doomsday in there. It didn't do it right. It didn't do Doomsday. Yeah, they didn't do it right. They but didn't do it's Doomsday. Not that bad. No, it was because they shit it on Doomsday. Doomsday in itself was like, it's a like. How can you do that? Like that like, should be a movie uh, by itself, right? You gotta, you gotta, you can't squeeze everything in one movie. They gotta start doing that. They gotta stop doing that. It's not like that. I don't know what they. I don't know what that's supposed to be about. Squeezing everything in one movie. You gotta start chopping yeah, it up, yeah. man. That's a whole movie. In itself. You think they would learn their lessons too? Like they tried that in Spider Man Three, the, the Sam Raimi one. You would um, think they would learn from them, and they have four different villains in the movie. Yeah, you can't like, do all that, man. That's can't do that. X Men: The Last Stand. From, yeah, that uh, was. Yeah, they made drug and alcohol. You think they would learn? Yeah, yeah they just you would had think they learned their lesson. That's just not making no sense. <laughs> None of it is. I said they. Yeah, they squeezed too much out of that movie. I said, you kind of lost me there. <laughs> so I mean, to wrap this up. Right. 
I think that, uh, man, this is a, a win-win for HBO. It's a win for um, WB, Warner Brothers. It's a win for DC movies. It's a win for the fans. It's, I don't see any downside into this movie for, for them. I think that's what probably happened in the meeting. They probably was like, so what's the downside of us not doing this? Losing you only, twenty or thirty million dollars. You, you only can go up from, from trash. Yeah, like what's what, what? What is the downside? There is no downside. You guys lost sixty million dollars on the film the other week. At least here, you might get some subscription services, get some people on board, and get some new customers. Right. You know. So I mean, my excitement for it, but my for it, my excitement for, for it is uh. 10 out of 10 for me, man. I'm super excited just because everyone told me that this would not happen. And I always said, yo, this might happen. <laughs> it might happen. Just because the movie was already shot, only only thing they really had to do was... I, I, you know, I do wonder if the cast is going to come back. Maybe they do some reshoots or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they go that far, but man... I'm super excited that the fans kind of have a voice now in these uh, days where they can uh, make real changes to some of the canon. <laughs> That's crazy. Absolutely. And, um, Absolutely. you know, I, I really don't think you they should ever do anything like that again. Like, you know, they should have just waited for the guy to grieve and stuff and go through his vision. Don't try to bring on just because he made uh, Avengers a good movie don't mean he was going to make Justice League a good movie. And I think I mean, they could have waited. But anyway, let's wrap this up, Kyle. Uh, tell them where they can find this at. On YouTube, Facebook, all the usual social media sites, eh, in a sense. Uh, wherever you listen to your podcast, we're working on getting on all the platforms. But if you can't check us out on one, try another one. Mm. <laughs> so <the> tag is <laughs> all right. <laughs> Working on it. All right, it's your boy Quicks the Q and the guy in the chair, Kyle P signing out. Peace. Peace.